And welcome back to The Morning Blend. The beloved Broadway musical Chicago is here this week in Milwaukee, and there is a very special member of the cast. It is former NFL running back Eddie George. He's no stranger to hustling on the field as a member of the Tennessee Titans, but now he is playing a hustling lawyer in the Broadway play <laughs> Chicago. We are thrilled to have Eddie on the yellow couch, and uh, this is obviously this is your debut in the touring cast, but you are no stranger to the stage. You have a laundry list of other roles yes. you perform. Um, prior to this, talk a little bit about your acting credentials outside uh -huh. of it, because everybody knows you from the field. We all yeah. know about that. Um, well, I started about uh, about ten years ago. I've done um, mainly a few dramas. Um, to name a few: a Whipping Man, um, um, Top Dog, Underdog. I just finished up the production of A Raisin in the Sun in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a great just last show. Sunday. Yeah, so it is. I'm getting out of my Walter Lee mode. And, uh, <laughs> Jumping back into the skin of Billy Flynn, I've done Shakespeare, the Othello, Julius Caesar. Um, uh, so on stage, that's what that's kind of uh, the, the hard hitting stuff that I've done in the past. I think your 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 career, your mm -hmm. your life is you've done so many different things. I don't know if I've ever seen a resume that's so varied from, uh -huh. you know, your high school career and you went to military school. Oh, yeah. That wasn't by design. <laughs> 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 and you played football there. Yes. Um, people know we just said you won the Heisman in 1995. Mm -hmm. In 96, you were an NFL first round draft pick. Mm -hmm. um, had nine seasons in the NFL, right. finishing with the um, Cowboys, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, um, that's, that's toward the tail. That's, <laughs> that's when you know the end is near. Right. <laughs> in the College uh, Football Hall of Fame, I think what's unbelievable next was then you got an NBA mm -hmm. at Northwestern, right, yes. at Kellogg. Uh -huh. um, we're, have worked in business and still do, right? And then you have a Broadway career. Yeah, well, I it's it's funny, you know, people say, well, how the hell do you find time? <laughs> you guys yeah, that's right. That's okay. Right. Right. That's how okay. Time, approved. That's how okay. do you find time to uh, uh, to do all this? Well, I, I work in under three E's, and that's entertainment, entrepreneurship, and um, entertainment. So that's that's kind of where I live. Excuse me, education, and that's and that's where I find uh, my opportunities. Uh, to, to teach or to do my business, whether it's wealth management or um, do commentating or acting on Broadway and so forth. So this is something that um, I've been working on for quite some time since my playing days were done. When you were playing, did you always have the itch to be on stage? No, 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 no. I, I, listen, playing football, you are, you're already on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and it's very real. And mm -hmm. it's, it's you're, you're experiencing every emotion possible from one moment to the next, you know, whether it's the thrill of scoring a touchdown or um, the disappointment of giving up, fumbling a f football, whatever that may be, you're going to go through those range of emotions, which are very real for you. Uh, whereas uh, in football, I mean, excuse me, whereas in theater, it's, uh, you have to create those feelings that you've already experienced in imaginary circumstances. It's mm -hmm. still the same thing. You're still, you're still very real, you're still alive. It's just a matter of, making that uh, those words, that story come alive on stage. You look fantastic in this show. And I want to oh, talk yeah. more <laughs> about your role. But just because we're on football, I want to ask, because uh -huh. you, there are so many stories now, and there's so much more information about the lives of ex-NFL players. Mm -hmm. From a health standpoint, mental health, there's a lot of depression, even oh, suicide, oh, yeah. a lot of injuries that have yeah. long-term effects. What are your thoughts on, uh, on that and, and your career and how you're doing now post well, the NFL? Depression is very real. Um, you talk about stopping anxiety, the young lady's book, I mean, I overheard you talking and it's, uh, it's very much like that you're gonna go through that depression. Um, it's like um, putting to rest one, your loved one because the athlete dies twice. Mm -hmm. You know, once your playing days are done, they're done. It's, it's you really have to go through a process of grieving, a finding what's next and acceptance and then attacking that next venture with the same tenacity that you did your football career. Where we get caught up is you identify with that person and you attach your identity to that, that very thing that's, that has no more life. And then you slowly but, detour, uh, slowly but surely deteriorate mentally speaking and physically and emotionally. You have to, you have to be willing to step out there in faith and find what's next for you and 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 go for it. It sounds like yeah. though that you were really able to farm the emotions, the highs, the lows, the everyday mm -hmm. of what you did when you were playing because like you said there's so much you experience. Oh, yeah. 
to be able to translate that into new passions. And no, that's without. something that so many could benefit from, not just ex-athletes. No, no, anybody. I mean, mm -hmm. just imagine if this career were to shut down on you today. You know, when you walk out these doors, mm -hmm. what are you going to do next? Who are you? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's really a, 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 a process where you have to find out who you are. And it's not just, you're not a TV anchor. You're not um, just, you didn't just go to school to just study journalism. You know, you're a human being and you have a story to tell. You have a testimony. You're, you're a, a warrior. You're, you're so many different things in this life. You just don't identify with just one thing. It was just your job. That's what I, that's what I did, but I'm so much more. And you have so many other gifts that are worth exploring if you have the courage to tap into that. You need to write oh a book. God. I know, I'm Add thinking that, I'm thinking your, that. And I love yeah. the entertainment, entrepreneurship, and education. education. Yes. Chicago, what a mm -hmm. great show. You oh, look yeah. great in the, the tux. Thank you. How is it playing this role? Billy's fun. Ah, man, look <laughs> at it. I mean, listen, this is one of my favorite shows to do. It's, it's a family, you know, truly a family, Chicago family. They embrace you, they support you. Um, I did, I had the opportunity to go on in, in New York a year ago and have um, a limited run, uh, eight weeks on Broadway, and then I've been doing the touring shows thereafter. And uh, to go to each city, to do the show each and every night, it is a Super Bowl unto itself. Aww. And uh, I, I absolutely uh, love playing this role because it's fun, um, it's iconic, it's a timeless storyline, and um, it ends well every time for me. <laughs> you, have a, you could have a built-in voice coach, yes, in your family with your lovely wife. Oh, that's it, uh, yeah. Did she coach you or did oh, she, she just support me. you? She always, she coaches me. <laughs> in fact, I just got the phone with her now and she's telling me what things to do. I'm like, listen, <laughs> I, I, I got it already, all right? I'm, I'm tired of you telling me. I've done this. She always tells me what to do anyway, whether it's take out the trash, make up the bed, <laughs> you know, put the seat down, uh, the bathroom. Uh, she puts, you know, with, with, this side though, she puts these notes on the, t on the toilet telling me to don't forget to uh, put the seat it. down. Oh, yeah, the seat I'm like, down? I'm not 12. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, that's but cute. anyway, that's another side note. That's another that's cute. Uh, deal. But that's anyway, awesome. but you know, she, uh, she's been very uh, instrumental in my development as, a, as an actor and, and singer, I guess. Good for you for trying yeah. and, and succeeding at so many different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's Thank really you. awesome. Really, really cool. And Chicago is in town in Milwaukee. You can see Eddie as um, Billy Flynn. Billy Flynn right now, but only through Sunday. It's at the Marcus Center. 414-273-7206. MarcusCenter.org is where you can find out more tickets and the shows. He's got two shows Saturday, two shows <laughs> Sunday. The, the people from Marcus just gave him that news. So that's, two, that's double header, double header. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great to see you. Thank you so Thank much you. for Hope joining us. I see you guys at one of them or you all know of it. them. I right? would love that. Or all of them. Yes. yes. I love it. Thank all right. you so much.